Teresa woke up because Zara was having a hard time breathing. And she's like, she's not getting air and she was breathing hard. And she's like, I'm going to the ER right now. And so she immediately left. I was there for a few hours before they said, okay, it seems like it's leukemia, we'll do the tests. And then a few hours later, they confirmed, yep, we got leukemia here. We've been through a lot with him. Yeah, we've been through a whole lot with Ethan. When he was born, he almost died. He's, he survived a lot. He's like, don't worry, Mom. <laughs> it's okay. So I just was found to have uh, brain tumors since he was a little bit over one year old. Uh, some of those are pretty difficult for uh, young kids like him. And then we got contacted by Make-A-Wish and they're like, we want to grant Zara a wish. Oh, I saved the message. I still have it, right? The voicemail. I was like, what? We were in such shock. I think it was in March or May. I know it was an M month. But I was like, no. First, uh, when, I, when I was called the first time, um, I was a little bit surprised. And, and <laughs> we just, we wanted something that would be more long term for him. But the most important thing for us was most definitely a ramp for him to be to have the access, because we knew that was what, it was about accessibility, comfort, and then something that he enjoys. All she loves is like her brothers and being with her family. In the hospital, they would bring her toys, and we're just like, well, she'd rather just like play with a friend, and so Zara loves that. Always asking these, these questions about um, traveling through space and, and going to other planets, and when things in movies are on other planets and things, he's like, is that real? How do we get there? <laughs> They had been thinking of doing a tree house for a long time, and unfortunately we don't have any trees here, so we kind of built something similar. So uh, with the Make-A-Wish staff, they were able to make it look like a tree house. So now they got something to climb up and down, and then you know, in addition, they did a lot of the backyard. They made that pop, put some lights in, the popcorn machine that they use three to four times a week still, which <laughs> I, I thought for sure was just gonna get dusty, and now they're using it all the time. It, it makes this, uh, uh, our small house a lot bigger when we can use the space like we have, we can we can do now. They would be down here and then everybody would be up here and it was like this is his home and he should have a right to have the access to it and thanks to Make-A-Wish he does and it's like it's like the biggest gift these guys could have given us, yeah. honestly. Yeah, so every day, um, 10 days before, he started opening up a, a gift from Make-A-Wish uh, which had something to do with space each day and then you know we got there everyone was all dressed up in, in space suits of various kind. Of course the first thing is we got to go into the control room which he really really loved and then we got to actually talk to the actual uh, astronauts at Virgin Galactic and that was a lot of fun too. Uh, so to have this in during this COVID lockdown where all the playgrounds are shut, the zoo was shut, the beaches were shut, the parks were shut, SeaWorld was shut, so we had nowhere to go with the kids except stay at home with the kids. So having the ability to get this thing built back here and have them to have some place to play um, was huge. It takes a lot of people to make a wish happen, a yes. lot. It's still, it, it, it's, it really warms your heart to see how people really volunteer their time and services to really improve the life of Ethan to make him as, you know, as happy as we want him to be. Yeah. You know? So it's it's really touching, you know. So yeah, we really, really appreciate it. Yeah, I didn't think it would happen at the, such scale as well, but it was a really special experience that uh, so memorable that I think I will remember forever. Zara will remember this wish probably for the rest of her life. You know, there's things in life that you remember forever. Hopefully it's not Diagnosis Day and it's the Make-A-Wish Day. Like, I don't know what else to say, but thank you.